Let's Hunt is a video series with tactics, weapons, locations and other useful tips. Always around one particular animal. Bring your strongest rifle when you hunt bison. That's the message for today. Thank you very much for watching. No, of course, I want to take you on a hunt uh, for bison. We want to go look for them out here in White Rhyme Ridge. And uh, I invite you to come with me look for them. But before we start, as usual, let's look at some maps. This is the southern and middle part of White Rhyme Ridge. This is the southern lodge. Here is the tent where I start. And if you look for bison, you want to go up here, but no further than this. Otherwise, they will stay within these confines. They can go as far as up here. Uh, so all of this area is full of bison. You will find some moose down here. You find uh, Sitka deer. Up here, you will start finding uh, foxes and hares. Uh, but there's lots and lots of bisons, wide open areas. So let's go see what we can find. In White Rhine Bridge, I've learned to start my hunts at 5 o'clock in the morning because then you can see the tracks a lot better once you have daylight, once the sun is out, then the tracks are seen a lot harder. I'm starting here at my tent and I'm not surprised a moose has already come close to the spawning circle that the tent has. So. There's lots of moose here. And lots of bisons. While I was doing the introductions, introduction here, we have bisons walking right towards us here into our starting area. And there we are with the bisons. I have a Sitka calling in the back. I'm not going to ID this call now. So this seems like a good score, 90 to 115. That's a large bull. You can also see that at with the weight. I've spotted a lot of them. I've tracked a lot of them already. So 730 to 860. That's a good size bull. Likely the others will be cows. And a group is the most common. You, you see single bison's not very often you usually see them in a group so now I'm going to take out the the bull of course the large one unless I see a bigger one and like said in the introduction bring your strongest rifle even the 300 I've had cases where the bison ran away I had to track it for quite some time so I bring the 4570 government lever action rifle this is the most important the most important statement of this hunt is actually it's two of them one bring a strong rifle and the second is place your shots well that's why I brought the um, the 12 times scope because even if you place it well they still survive many times see this one I thought I shot the spine or at least something near the spine and it still runs and they go this is a very common picture even the first shot I thought was a good place shot uh, in the lungs area um, but the bisons are very strong and if, if you bring anything weaker than this uh, toy here the government this is one is the engraved version there's also a normal version anything weaker than this and many many times it will be up for a lot of tracking so this is a good start here starting at the tent doing some introductions going out and seeing bison already um, they are here a lot in groups but what can also happen is that you start and you walk for a while and you don't see any um, if uh, it, it can happen that you simply don't run into any then the next time you will run into a number of groups in a short time so there's a good mixture here 
of both. I haven't marked the place now where I shot it, I have to say. So the first was a shot at a still bull standing there. The second was at a fleeing one. And this is a risky thing as well. Because once they run, they run really fast. It even ran out of the rendering distance, even just after the just after I shot it, it left the rendering distance. So long shots on running um, animals, on running bisons are a risk. This is the track of my bull. actually this one it, it is so let's see what we hit only a body shot 95% still in the cow and it's right over here maybe it is the one we shot at let's spot it no this one is another cow let's see if we can place a shot at this as well I still tend to shoot too far in the back, so this might be an intestine shot, maybe a long shot. I simply tend to shoot them too far in the back. I've learned, especially if they're still walking, to shoot it just behind the neck or in the neck, actually, and many times I end up with a long shot. So we have three fleeing bisons here at the start. Every real life hunter will say this is absolute rubbish you would shoot at one animal and then just track it down but of course here in the game uh, we are allowed to break some rules as far as that make sure to reload I've also brought the uh, reverse crossbow, which I'm going to load up now. And just in case, the 300 for uh, any sit cost that might be around. But going north here, there's no ch uh, there's a little chance of seeing many sit cost. It'll be mostly bison or moose. So the first bison we shot at is giving us a hard time already. Not a good shot placement and we're in for tracking. The second, I was hoping I could get the spine. Uh, it was a body shot likely, so I'm not gonna go after that. But certainly the one we shot up here uh, on the hill, I think we should, we should uh, find sometime soon. It should be, if it's not long shot, then it's an intestine shot. And we should be picking it up soon. I'm sneaking here, crouching. Right now the bisons are nervous because of, of, of course I, I shot at them. I had I had fired a gun and this will make them run. Um, but once they're calm, you can, you can really walk close to them. You have to be careful. I should have brought the, um, the 454 four uh, revolver actually it, when you come close to them um, they don't spook easily and you can you can walk into them they will attack you actually so this is something I would like to provoke at some point in the game walk up to a bison and provoke an attack so we'll pick up the track of this one later This is a good challenge, really. There's a moose cow standing around. The bisons are a really good challenge for people that like um, good shooting, proper shooting, proper shot placement. This is your challenge, really. If you, do if you don't do that well, then you will walk around a lot looking for tracks from bisons that you shot at. 
She looks nervous. Oh, there is a dead bison. So one of them has given up the fight. It's probably the cow that I saw because the other one ran here. If she comes, then she's calm, but I think she's nervous. Right here next to the shot bison. Nah, she's not moving. And by the way, the moose attack a lot more too now. Really glad to see that they fixed pretty much the issue with the attacking of the animals or the lack thereof. Yet the um, animals simply didn't attack anymore and now they do again, so... She doesn't recognize me, by, by the way, I can um, quickly show this with the G key. This is the um, the camouflage version of the um, the winter clothes here. So I'm protected even in rather open area. And while she's shaking her head, maybe I can collect this one and then sneak over, use the crossbow on her. What I wouldn't want is um, place another bad shot and have more animals to go after. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe better she runs. So this is our first bison. Uh, 25, 21, so that's about 10 real-time minutes. And here is our first bison, which is a female, I thought. No, it's a male. So that means, actually, the tracks should disappear on my hunter mate. So I did shoot at a second male. I must have misread that. Okay. Regardless of what it is, the uh, first bison is down. Like said, if you if you walk around here and, and you have to look for them for 20, 30 minutes, don't get discouraged. They will be there. Uh, what you can also do is run around, look for tracks, and then go after the tracks. And if you find tracks... Just follow them. Even if you see the solid circle, you can still follow them. They will not spook easily. Maybe we can do that later as well. Actually, I'm glad the moose cow ran. Many times I get myself engaged into some <laughs> additional little battles and then I have to go pick that one up and this one up and and end up getting totally distracted so the um, last blood track of this one was over 50 percent one rule of thumb i have for myself is after three blood tracks if the if the health has not gone below 50 percent the animal will live it'll likely survive the shot if the third blood track is below 50% then it's likely going to die I've, n I've not seen that anywhere I've never read this or nobody has told me it's just from my experience that's what I have come get to see so here is a bison walking around Seems lighter than the one we looked, uh, we shot at. And the moose team up here as well, same as in Hemeldal. Many times, if there's one, there's there's another one as well. There's really lots of moose here, so all's a good place for moose hunters. There's a third one, another bull.
the trotting speed of the bisons is enormous. You cannot follow it crouching. You can barely follow it walking. So this one is rather close. I don't know where it is now. More moose. So this might be the track of the one that just passed here. And it's already disappeared. So I will continue to go after my my other one. There it is exactly. The um, the track is exactly in the middle of the cone of the former track. So they go pretty straight, same as with many other animals in the game. Sometimes they go perfectly straight for quite some time. Now I see the solid circle. If the bison is roaming that circle will be roughly where it is if it's trotting then it's not correct the, the the bison will be way beyond that circle let's have another look back for the other bison It's gone. So what they do is similar to other animals. Uh, if you split a group by shooting at one, they can regroup. I've seen this with bisons many times. So this one looks a bit weak. This is our bull that we shot at. And it's given us a perfect opportunity for a follow-up shot. And now it's down. But again, the second shot was not good either. It was too far in the back. It just started walking. So not good example for the main message here. Shot placement. I cannot do anything wrong when I say bring a strong gun and then bring the 4570. <laughs> but I can certainly do bad shots on the bisons. And as you can see, this one just lift it would have lift for the rest of the hunting session even if I followed all the tracks now there is no more blood tracks I didn't mention it so far, but um, uh, I talked about the time, 5 o'clock in the morning, and then I just started walking. But just to mention that again, now, if you look at the tracks, whether it's domes, whether it's arcs, you can see them so well. Uh, so the first few hours in the game, in the, in the gaming uh, session, what is possible from 5 a.m., but also at night, if you start like, like 4 p.m., those are good times because then the sunlight is not as bright. There's another bison. So there you are. Let's see where we shot it. The first shot was skull actually. Interesting. That's not where I aimed, aimed at all. And the second was actually a long shot. So I did get the longs. I thought it was too far in the back. But anyway, 107 is a is a decent score for for a bison. 
uh, but they can go above 120. So nothing out of the ordinary here. The bisons have a call. Well, they basically say moo at some point, and, and you can pick that up with the hunter mate. Uh, but it's not like you can uh, you can lure them towards you with a similar call. There's no caller for the bison yet. I don't even know if there's one in real life. But it gives you a hint of where they are, of course. Most of the time you will run into a herd when you, when you hear one. Go look for them. And this is one of those examples where you can really see far. You can see much further than in any other reserve like this. Even if there's trees, you would still see animals because they stick out. The animals in the distance are always some black spot. Even the fox, even the white foxes and hares will be a black spot. Until they come closer, they turn into white. So you can you have perfect sight here for even over long distances uh, uh, of the animals. Okay, so let's run around and look for tracks or listen if we can if we can find one. If one calls, that's fine too. One option here is uh, to go to the sites, to the mountain sites, because then you're always elevated. You can look down into the woods. You can see a lot further. Uh, but then, of course, you're limited. Uh, you're dependent on herds being close to those hill sites, but they are there. You can do that. You can just run around the hillside and look down. But there's so many hills here. I have a long view on things here as well back here is all the great wide area with bisons and lots of moose of course There's a moose cow. Maybe I can demonstrate that it's really a bad shooter and not a bad rifle. Well, the second bison died rather quickly, but the first one just survived the shot. But moose is, even though a large animal, it's a lot smaller. And usually they can, they can be dropped on the spot. Uh, unless they go hide. <laughs> no, there's t there's plenty of them. We'll we'll shoot one. This was likely a long shot, many times double longs. So it's really a strong rifle, it's really a good rifle if you prefer b bison hunting or any other large game. This is certainly a good addition to your rifle cabinet. And it got the heart as well. So I'm trying to stay on these elevated spots here. 
here's another moose and if you look at the distance if this was red feather you would not likely spot it from this far and here it's almost at the rendering distance and it pops up right away should we try a longer shot on this as well It's a decent moose after all. So let's see how well the uh, lever action did on this one. But we're still looking for bison tracks, of course. That's a moose as well. More moose. I usually use the rangefinder to to mark the place, even though I think I know when I'm get there, when I'm getting there, I know where this is. Many times, it looks different, so I usually mark the place. So this one was a long shot. You can see the bright blood, the very typical uh, long blood spot. It's always the same pattern. So this was uh, a long shot, even from lo from a longer distance. One hundred and eighty-four meters, and it nicely did the long. Lots of moose tracks. So you walk around, you run around, and then all of a sudden you can see the bison pop up one after the other. Once you go, b uh, once they come within the rendering range. Let's try the crossbow here. There's a lots of moves around here. This is a perfect situation for some silent kilts. But that of course requires you to drop them right on the spot or they will run and flush everybody else. I think there's like four moose cows here right now. This is turning a bit into moose video.
So I can shoot one more and then the other will likely run away. Or maybe attack me. Remember this pattern? <laughs> it's a long shot. So we have two mo uh, two less moose cows calling. But of course this is a wide area. Wow, <laughs> all of the organs penetrated except the heart. Okay, here is a white, not a white, but a, a decent sized lake. I've shot bisons here as well. We have some tracks here. And we have some animals down here. So let's see, the track says 20 minutes ago. Don't know which direction. Going north. This is perfect. We can run after these guys. There's another moose here. Loads and loads of them. Here is a cow. Down here is a couple. Oh, look at this moose. Good sized moose. And the bisons are ahead of us. They go rather fast. As mentioned before, the roaming speed is tremendous, to say the least. The time at when you follow them walking, the time of the uh, of the tracks barely goes down. I have to be careful now. She runs away. She could also run into me, so I have to be careful here. But. I think we're over this. And after I switch to walking, the time even goes up. So they're faster than I am just walking. So I will switch back to running. Now I have a circle. I think I see them. So there's the group. As you've seen, I've ran until I had a circle. 
there's simply no danger of spooking them because they're so far away now we hear the call from them that's them so you can see the one that called is even beyond the uh, the circle while roaming so their speed is really fast I'm going to walk behind them so you can see really you can you can really walk up to them it'll take a lot for them to spook so the challenge is not really finding them the challenge is not so much following them once you know you can really go rather quickly and they will not spook the challenge is not even to come close to them you can bow hunt them well but really the 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 big deal is to to shoot them so well so you don't have to walk left uh, run left and right and and go collect bisons i'm still walking upright and there's no signs of nervousness no no none of them looks at me or stands and looks around maybe i can show with the distance meter here 100 meters away Maybe we can get one with the uh, crossbow. Come down here. If he sees me now or she, she will attack. And I think that's the case now. Let's see who wins this battle. <laughs> really? It stopped running after I shot it. So let's see what we hit. Remember this blood spot? <laughs> so I hit the lungs right through the animal. I must have gone through the skull or I don't know. So this will be a bow kill, crossbow kill. So you can see you can walk r so close to them until they run you over. If you run, of course, they will spook and run away, but... Now, of course, this has spooked the rest of the group. This looks like my dying bison. Rather far away, really. Uh, there's another which did not spook up here. So let me mark her here. And go after another up here. Making sure the crossbow is cocked again.
this cow is giving me the side which would be a good opportunity this one is not so good Yeah, she's giving me a hard time here. Ah, <laughs> I'm not going to risk a shot right now. I'm going to follow them later. Or actually, just after I pick this one up. The problem with the 12 times uh, scope is you cannot zoom out. So after you shot, it's hard to see any other animals run because um, you don't see much really of the environment. So it's better if you have a scope that you can zoom out quickly, see where the animals are and then zoom in again. But those only go up to nine times. So here's my charging bison. And let's see what I hit. It went through the skull, didn't touch the brain, didn't, didn't touch the, um, the neck as well, through the shoulder blade, and then did some, da some damage in there. I try to play a little Torero game, have them charge me, run away, turn around, let them charge me again, but I think after the second attempt they ran me over already. They run very fast, much faster than you can or I can, so I lost pretty badly. And we're not surprised to see more moose. Actually, he shouldn't be nervous. I only shot the crossbow. What I'm not sure really is these trees, all of these you can walk through. There is no collision. And there's a rule basically in the game. E everything you can walk through, animals can see through. So I'm not sure if they give you any protection against the animals. I think they don't. So if you try hiding behind those trees, I don't think it will work. Perfect kill shot. No running animal. So, and now for the bisons, I will switch back to walking because of their high speed. Oh, there's one close. All right up there. No, it's another moose. And up there we can see it. 
One trick you can do is that when you crouch, if you keep moving forward, you will not sway left and right. Right now, let's demonstrate this on this tree. So I move forward, the gun swaying up and down, up and down, but not left and right. This is a good way for for placing shots on the animals. Um, if you cannot lay flat, if you have to crouch, just move, fo keep moving forward and the gun will not sway left and right, which gives you good stability on one axis. You still have to find the right timing for the uh, for the height, of course. Maybe I can show this with the bison, although this is running in circles here. So I did that here, crouching, moving forward. And as soon as the bison was in the right direction, in the right position, I could take it down. So finally we have a perfect drop on the spot. Double lungs. Oh, it's not even the one we followed. You can see the tracks remain on the hunter mate. Ooh, it's right over there. Well, at least there's another. The angle is not too bad, really. You can you can do double long shots from here, from this angle, but it's still a risk. Let's try this one. Somewhere here I shot it. We're now coming to the river, which is a wide open place again, where you can see the bisons far. Good place here too for hunting them. So with this bison, I try to shoot it right behind the, the, uh, the head. to avoid any intestines because that just seems to make him live forever. Here it is. It's a long shot. So in case of doubt, shoot too far at um, too far in the front and not in the back. In case of doubt, go more towards the head is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is a moose. Once you shoot one of the animals in a herd, they will uh, they will run like crazy. But the good thing is, when they all run forward, they will stay as a group. Right now, here we're hunting scattered animals. There's another one that seems to be on his own. Oh, now they're popping in. There they come. Now they're all popping in. I'm just they're just coming within rendering range. This was nice to see now. Let's see, can we do a really long shot here? 185. So this was a good shot. He is down. 
And again, I, tr I try to shoot it as far forward as possible, more than with other animals. By the way, I brought the uh, 300 as mentioned um, in case we see Sitkas, but maybe we should s just do one shot with the 300 just to see the difference because the 300 used to be the king of the rifles, the strongest rifle in the game. At least that's what I always uh, felt it was. So let's switch to, th to that weapon actually. And we'll do one more shot so you can see the difference. So here this is all open wide area. You think there is no bison but all of a sudden they pop in like they just did. Simply because you can see further than the animals are rendered. If you look at the end of this riverside here, we're at 330 meters already. So if there's any bison down there, we cannot see them. I brought the 12 times cope for the government lever action, but that is not so decisive really. It's, it's more the rifle itself. You can do nicely if you have a nine times zoomable scope. So that's the scope is not really the point. It's more the rifle and the shot placement. So these other tracks here should be the fleeing tracks from the other ones. Uh, this is still coming. This is where they came from. Here we have the long shot. And it did the double longs great at uh, 185 meters. Moose calling. If we could see it, it's right at the rendering range. Oh, there's another bison. Oh, there they are. So let the 300 do the magic. There's another one. Behind the rock. Especially when they angle you, go right near the head. So I would hope for this one to be a long shot. Although maybe a little bit too high. Although I should say with the government, I would expect this to be a long shot. With the 300, I would not be surprised if it's just a body shot. We have some strong winds here, beautiful area. Of course the game gets more beautiful as the day progresses, as there is actually more sunlight. But I like it, oh there it is, I like it even in the morning. Uh, it's another one. I thought it was laying down.
So we have to start marking places because this one, I don't trust this to be a good shot. So let's go one after the other. So the game here, the map is beautiful no matter what daylight. But first and foremost, we've come to, to hunt animals and to see tracks on the ground and not so much to enjoy the area. Now the challenge is to find the blood spot. Here it is. So the 300 has done a long shot. Great. Well, actually, I'm glad. <laughs> would be kind of stupid to, to have a rather close shot on a still bison with laying down perfect shot setup pretty much and then the 300 would, would fail that would pretty much mean oh i have to get a big rifle or i cannot hunt moose uh bison of course but you can it's just the lower your uh, rifle the less power it has the more tracking you'll have to do And to be honest, it's a bit frustrating when you shoot animals and you just see them run away all the time. So maybe then we have a winner as far as the importance. Shot placement over rifle strength. Strong rifle, yes. Properly placed shot, even more, yes. Even more important. So this one's still running. Very tough guy. Oh, there's a nice little rock here. Gives us some elevated view. Can anyone see the dead bison? Oh, it's right here. So we did left lung and shoulder blade. I continue to stick stick to my theory, shoot him right behind the head, you have a higher chance of hitting the lungs. And the one I'm going to look at right now, I didn't follow that really. I think it was too far in the back, it was also too high because the uh, bison was behind a little hill. So I'm I'm guessing, also given the distance, I'm guessing we have a body shot. Ah, yes, it was here. So, what have we got? Yes, it's certainly not a long shot. It's a body shot, and you can see the high percentage. 98% still healthy. Second track is at 76%, and the third track will be som somewhere in the 60s, meaning it doesn't go below 50 in the first three tracks means it'll survive we don't even have a third blood track it's already fleeing 
This is probably an older track. No, it's also fleeing. But 10 minutes old. Okay. That seems one from before. Oh, hello. Is this you? <sighs> Remember I was running when I picked up the prior, uh, the uh, bison before I ran down here to read the tracks? And this one's still here. They're not very spooky. It's a different one. I shot. I just shot a different one. In the spine. So our bison is still on the run. Now 7.02, we started at 5, 2 hours in the game, it's 1 hour real time, and I haven't really counted, but I think we've shot a few bisons, quite a few moose as well. So you can see it's rather easy to find them, because you can see them from really far. They are a bit restless, so you have to find a good point in time, as you've seen in the f very first, the very first bisons we've shot at. They didn't stand, so bad shot placement. Let's do some tracking, but if you find the right time once they stand still, and if you place your shot well, then you can get a few of those in an hour or two. Here is yet another track. There is one animal running. It's a moose. Glad it's running the other way. Hmm. There was a track hidden. Can you see this? There's a track here. Can you see it? <laughs> you can only see it here. That can be tricky when, when tracking. So when you look for tracks, in, like in this case, you cannot see it. Walk over those snow hills and look if the hunter mate is, is flashing. And then you can know there's a track underneath these. You can even have dead animals under snow piles and you will not see them until you run over them and the hunter made flashes. Oh, there's one coming my way. Maybe it's mine I've been looking for. <laughs> this one went down rather easy could have been because it's the uh, it's the one we're looking for at least i hope so <laughs> that's another new one it's not the one we're looking for i must have hit the spine little glitch here with the arrow floating outside so the first shot was a spine 
and the second did the rest. There's a little dying animation or harvest animation. The bison seems to collapse on the snow. You have this little noise that you just had. Sometimes you get that. So this one must must be fleeing again, of course. It's not unusual hunting bison or hunting here in White Ram in general because you see so many animals through the woods and everything. You get distracted a lot. So let's remember the weight now. So next time we spot it, 720 to 840 is actually a good size bull. Hello. Is that him? No, it's another one. <laughs> now we're getting brave with the 300. Forget everything <laughs> I said about the strong rifle. So this is yet another bo uh, mo uh, brr, moose bison that we can pick up, hopefully. Again, I've been running and he just stands here. There's no way you can have this situation with other animals. So open area, hopefully we can now finally find the one we've been running after. It was a long shot by the way. There's the pattern again. again. Is this him? No, of course not. Wrong animal, wrong gender. So the 300 is shooting bisons here left and right. But quite honestly, I would not recommend something like the 8 by 57 or the the Anschutz 308. But why don't you go out and prove me wrong after we've what we've seen now? I'm looking for the next track. There it is. So it's been running out uh, down here. We should be finding them here. Been looking at this spot here. It really is a spot on the ground. Not anything shootable. Now I have been trying to be smart and walk ahead of the track and now I don't see the next. So where is this facing? Ah, over here. Is 
even turn around. What the heck? Nine minutes old. Five minutes old. Is that him? See how he's trotting? That's another. <laughs> the weight estimation tells me it's another one. Yet another. Oh, hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Should we do the attack again and just let him run us over? Nah, we had an attack. Come on, let's just finish this off. There collapses our last bison for this video. We've gone quite a distance, we've shot quite a few animals, including bison, moose, and dragons. One of them was a lie, you will find out which it is. I hope you liked the video. I hope I was able to show you a little bit how you can hunt the bison. Shot placement, a good rifle. Be brave, go after them quickly run after them, walk after them, they don't run away from you quickly and when they charge you be faster. I hope you like this. Let's pick this up. All right. And a nice view for the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Never got annoyed. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.